Good morning, my peeps. Good morning. It's the wee hours of the morning, and, you know, I got up out of my sleep, and I was just, you know, strolling through TikTok, and I saw this duet of a woman giving love to this other woman, and the woman she was giving love to, she was just crying and crying, and she's just saying she needs somebody right now to just sit with her, to just hold her hand, and that, you know, she's lonely, and it, it it broke my heart. It broke my heart. It moves my soul. It moves my soul, my peeps. Um, because especially around this time, um, you know, there's so many lonely people in in the world. You know, and everywhere you turn, you hear "Live your life to the fullest." You hear, um, "Do what you want in on your time, your terms." Um, um. You hear things like, um, do what's best for you, don't worry about nobody else, and blah, blah. We're living in the me, myself, and I generation, and we're, forget, we're forgetting one thing. And I think this is also one of the, the reasons the world is wicked as it is, is that God made us relational. Each one, teach one. Everybody needs somebody in some kind of capacity. Yes, we don't go nowhere in life without somebody. We're promoted by people. We're demoted by people. We're brought into this world by somebody. We're taught by somebody, good or bad. God made us relational. He even goes as far as says, wisdom is found is a multitude of counsel. We need a village to raise our children right. You know, the right village that is. Because there's good and bad in everything. And there's exception to the rule. Even the introvert needs somebody. And it just pains my heart. And I'm just hoping that, especially, not just for this season, but I'm just going to use this season because this is the time where families get together and, you know, kids and husbands and wives and grandma, grandpa and extended families try to come together to break bread and to fellowship. And there's somebody with nobody to do that. Or there's somebody that that is painful to because they don't have it and that reflects their loss. My people, I'm not telling anyone to live your life for somebody else. No, that's not what I'm saying, but I'm saying let's love you, our neighbor. Your neighbor is anybody around you, anybody in your vicinity. Your neighbor is who live on your building, live in your neighborhood, who you work with, who you pass in the hospital, who you pass in the jails, who you pass anywhere. The Lord commands us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And that is not easy sometimes because the people with the different personalities, the different characters, the different spirits, it's difficult. To love everybody. But you can be kind and loving. To those you can be kind and loving to. Yes. It, it kind of. Because I know what she was talking about. I went to a page. And I, I started to read the comments. Of other women you know. And it's sad. It's It's sad. But we can make a better world. I believe that. We can make a better world. If we just consider the other person as we do ourselves. As we do unto others as we will have them do unto us. As we understand that the Bible said two is better than one. And the work of two bring better efforts than the work of one. Yes. Yes. And sometimes people are hard to like, but you got to love them. You got to love them. You can't live for yourself. 
because life is not such if you live for yourself when your day come because every dog's got their day when your day come you're going to need somebody and because you make no deposit there will be nowhere to withdraw from nowhere to withdraw from so i'm just reminding us to just remember there are lonely people in the world remember there are abused people in the world remember there are loveless people in the world there's wicked people too but let us love like Jesus love. And it doesn't mean you allow people to harm you. No. No. Because we have to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. But there's so much people we pass by the wayside that needs us. And we pass them by the wayside. There's so much people in our family we hate for no good reason. When we should be loving them. There's so much people we work with that we hate for no good reason when we should be loving them. And from my experience, oh my God, just a good work, just a good word or a smile can just change the mental perception of a person. Can just change a person from feeling down to feeling happy if it's even for a moment. Love people like our God loves you. Have a blessed and awesome day. And remember, Jesus loves you. And so do I. Love, comment, share. Just put it out there. 